Let's look at the undo and redo functionality in Affinity Designer. So as you would expect, you can step back and forth between all of your operations within the current session. For example, I could go to edit and undo to step back one operation and then go to edit and redo to step forward one operation. And of course we have keyboard shortcuts here. So on Mac, undo is command Z, redo is shift command Z. On Windows, that would be control Z and shift control Z. But also down here, we have the history panel. Now this contains a list of all of the undo operations within our current session. So for example, on the position slider, we can simply just move it to a specific place or scroll. And we can also scroll through the list of operations and select a particular step. But also we can save this undo history with our document. And to do this, we can go to file and choose save history with document. It will give us a warning here. We can click yes. And then if we save our document, so let's go to file, save as, just put it on the desktop here. That's fine. Then we go to file, close. So we've now closed our current document session and reopened that document we just saved. You see our undo history stays intact down here. Now, finally, I'll just demonstrate the alternate futures branching feature. So we already have one here. And the way you create this is when you move back to a specific step in your undo history, and then you perform a completely different operation. So for example, I might add a brightness and contrast adjustment here. Notice now there is a little branch icon appearing. So let me just tweak this adjustment. So now we've effectively created another alternate future for our undo history. And we can cycle between these just by clicking the branch icon. So this has a number of different adjustments. Whereas if we now click this branch icon, we'll cycle to the future where we added that brightness and contrast adjustment. So it gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to trying out different ideas within the same document. And there we go, just a quick look at the undo and redo functionality.